All right, let's take a look at a, uh, a way to use Google Sheets to create a timeline. Um, now, the nice thing about using Google Sheets is that um, these columns can go on and on and on for a long time. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make my timeline. So I'm going to highlight this row 9. Uh, maybe I'll do 11. Give myself some room on the top and the bottom to add some pictures. And I'm just going to fill that in with a... Oh, a light gray color. And for row 12, I'm going to just do a little bit of a darker color to get all fancy here with my timeline. Now, I do have these columns here. What I can do is highlight a bunch of them and right click and go to insert nine to the right. And I can do that again, insert nine to the right and just add a bunch of, bunch of columns here. And the nice thing about using a spreadsheet here is that you can scale this appropriately. So if I said um, this was 1983, and to center align anything, it's Control Shift E, or you can come up here and align it. All right, um, 1983. That's when I was born. So you can uh, you can insert images into a spreadsheet. You can't copy and paste an image though. So you can't go into Google Images and uh, right click on a picture and copy it and come over and paste it. What you'd have to do is go to insert image and you'd have to grab that URL um, if you found something on the internet or you can just do a search from here as well and I'll just search for a baby photo and perfect. All right now the nice thing about adding an image this way is that you can just drag and drop it. That's way too big. All right so there's my baby photo, and what I'll do in these cells below this, um, the button above enter on your keyboard, if you press shift backslash, you can get these little lines. Oops. And you can kind of make a line going up and just center align those control shift E. And there's my line for 1983 is when I was born. Um, you could also, so um, let's say five years from there, 83, 84, 85, 86. Um, in eight, 1988, if I counted correctly, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So this was the year that I went to kindergarten. So what you could do instead of putting a picture on here, you could also just highlight some of these cells and click the merge button and type in here, this is when I started kindergarten. All right, and I would center align that, put it in the center of the box and maybe bold it, change your font to something fun and uh, increase, the, increase the font size and wrap the text. All right, you can even add lines around this if you want to a border uh, you can change the color of the border, uh, whatever you want. All right, so let's fast forward. Uh, I don't even know. Um, let's say this is where I graduated college. I could go to images and I could search for Bloomsburg University. And I'll get this guy. Right click on him, go to copy image address or copy URL, and I'm going to go to insert image by URL, and I'll paste that in there. All right, and there's the Bloomsburg Husky, and I, I don't know, what was this, 2005? All right, now, and you can see you could keep going on and on and on. You could insert links, so I could put a I could put a link to Bloomsburg University. Um, if I type in a cell and click the hyperlink button, which is Control K is the shortcut for that, um, I could link that to bloomu.edu. All right, there it is. Apply. All right, and there's a link. So I can link out. So I can make this uh, more interactive and more digital if I want to. You can link to YouTube videos or student presentations. If you had a timeline, like if you're doing World War II, um, you can have your bu a bunch of kids make presentations and just link them at different spots along this timeline. Now, I, I wouldn't publish this to a website or anything like that um, as it stands here. What I would do is I would go to View, 
I would turn off the grid lines right, and go to File, Publish to the Web. You can do the entire document or just select this one sheet. It um, doesn't matter. And I'll hit Publish. Hit OK. Copy that link. Paste it in a new tab. And here's your interactive timeline. All right. And as I said before, the nice thing is that you can keep going on and on and on and on. You really don't have any restrictions other than the total number of columns you can use in Google Sheets. And I don't even know what that number is. All right.